So I'll spend a few moments in prayer. We're going to turn to uh, Psalm 353. Fairly new psalm that's been added to our psalm book. This is uh, in the end of the psalm book. It says, Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence and fear. In Him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. We've got a prayer request for Kayla, Kaylee. Kaylee Oliver. I'm not sure what that prayer concern is, but God knows the need. God knows who uh, this uh, girl is, and I uh, pray that God will just be around. But I want to remember the Reed family uh, from St. John's Temple. Uh, and if you're, uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, Dildo Core as well, because uh, good friends of uh, Charlene's family. Uh, Doug Reed, uh, his dad passed away uh, yesterday. Funeral will be held on uh, Wednesday for them. So we're going to remember the Reed family at uh, Dole and uh, St. John's Temple. And pray uh, the rest of the family. Pray that God will just be around with them these days as they uh, mourn the loss of their loved one and they lay their loved ones uh, to rest. Uh, there's other prayer concerns. You want to remember Annie and Wilson Dale. Uh, keep them in their prayers. And there's many others as well that uh, need in prayer today, so we want to remember them. Let's uh, sing this song straight through. And then we'll spend some moments in prayer. sad and shut in and, uh, 
we would just need to pray for those folks this morning. We pray that the presence of the Lord, and that His glory may be around about them this morning, and that again they will realize and experience His power this morning. No wonder can we stand uh, this morning as a congregation as I lead us in prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you because we can come into your house and we can worship you. And Father, we realize that the weather may have kept some people away this morning and we're fewer in numbers, but we understand and know that you are here in this place. And uh, we've come to worship you, to adore you, and to give you praise and adoration that you deserve. This morning there are many others who would love to be here, but because of sickness, because of age, and other reasons they're unable to be in your house this morning. So, Father, I pray this morning, wherever they may be, that they may sense and realize your presence, that they may sense and know your spirit, they might indeed know your power this morning, wherever they are too. Father, for those who are uh, experiencing any difficulties in their life, Father, for those who are going through trials and maybe have lots of doubts and lots of questions in their minds, Father, might you just speak into their situation this morning. Might they realize and know that you're a God, and that you're a good, good Father, and you love your children. Father, again, there's so many who are shut in. Father, I think of Miss Fanny, Father, and I think of Miss Florence, and others who would love to be here this morning, but because of being in homes that are unable to be here. Father, again, your presence, might they be around, might they experience and know your presence this morning. And might they realize that this church is uplifting them in prayer this morning. Father, for the Reed family uh, who have been caused to mourn, Father, I pray that your arms of love would be around about them, that your promised comfort would be around about them, that they may sense and know this morning that you are present in that situation as well. And as they prepare to lay their loved one to rest, Father, might they indeed claim on for the hope that they will see their loved one once again. Father, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory this morning. We're so grateful that the CBS band is here. Thank you for their ministry of music last night and for the uh, presence that we sensed last night. And today, Lord, we expect again a uh, moving of your Holy Spirit. So just move in our midst, continue to bless us, be with Major Barb as she brings forth your word, Father, and again, what you've laid upon her heart this morning. Might it be meat and drink to our souls, and might we just realize the truths that lie within. And Father, that the words that you've spoken to her heart might indeed be the message of the hour that will sink deep in our hearts as well. So continue to move in this place in your name. Amen. Amen. 